now, it's time for us to get into a conversation about something that fascinates me often. You know, um, yesterday was World Teachers Day, right? And of course, we've seen Faith Japasu mm -hmm. collecting her yeah. Best Teacher Prize in Ghana. And all across the world, there's a celebration of teachers, right? And then we also had Bismarck. Is it Bismarck Tunu? Tukwami Tunu, yeah. yeah. Yeah, who also got the best prize in Africa. Yeah. You know. So, all around, you know, we recognized teachers yesterday. But I think that teachers, you know, play such a critical role in our lives that it's something that we need to do more consciously and more regularly. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, the Chief Justice had a teacher mm -hmm. the at president. different levels. Yeah. The President had teachers mm -hmm. at different levels. Right? No matter who you are and what you become eventually in life, there's a teacher responsible yeah. for your journey. Mm -hmm. you know? And so today we want to open the phone lines and have you contribute you know, your thoughts about some of the fun memories that you had or some of your favorite teachers. Just share with us. You know? Of course, there are people who had negative experiences, but we, we want to just focus on Give us the good stories, right, today. Just share with us your fondest memories of some of your favorite teachers. I'm sure you have quite a few to share. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I have. Of you course, know. I think everyone has a favorite teacher yeah. at every stage at different of levels, your at different stages, academic, yeah. you know. Nursery school, I honestly don't remember too really? well. Nursery well. school, nursery yeah. school. I remember, I remember running around and uh -huh. playing around, but I don't remember too much the teachers. I, 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 I quite, you know, remember some of the teachers. Of the teachers yes, yeah? yes. Okay. Because I, I started school at um, Inshayasu International School okay. in Kumase. Okay. And I remember back then, mm. um, I probably may not remember my own teachers, yeah. but I remember some of the teachers, of the teachers who yes. were there. But I okay. remember very well Auntie mm. Dede, okay. you know. Um, okay. I mean, Auntie Dede used to pay attention to me. I think I was a very cute little girl, you know, very small <laughs> and all that. But I remember Mr. Lamte. Mm. I remember um, Uncle Prosper. Uncle Prosper is my father's very good friend. They okay. are like brothers now. Uh, so even from way back then till now, he is still part of our yeah. lives. You know, he yeah. lives in Switzerland now. Mm. Uncle Prosper. I remember... Um, um, Mr. Japon. Okay. Mr. Japon is no more. God bless his soul. Mm. But these are... Um, teachers from yeah. before I started class yeah, one, yeah. you know, and then I moved on to Jesus the King, mm. also in Kumase, and there I remember Mr. Fori, uh, remember Mr. Quay, Mr. Kinsley, um, quite a number of them, you <laughs> know, and <laughs> Mr. Fori would always make sure that I am singing. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes. <laughs> I mean, he was in charge of the school choir and all yeah. that, and I mean, at every point he made sure I was singing. Mm. Mr. Fori actually chose St. Monica's. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I was very, very close to wow. him. I remember at every stage in class, my chair was right in front of his table. <laughs> yeah. He has so, to keep his eye on his feet. Absolutely. <laughs> so that was then with primary and JHS because I went to the same mm. school for primary and okay. JHS. Okay. And then to St. Monica's, mm. you know, Father Nyama, was there, you know, and uh, Father would also make sure that I'm always singing in church. Yeah. And um, I remember Mr. Oteng, I remember Bogazizue, Mr. Ashtayba, <laughs> for my literature teacher. He was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite yeah. teachers, yes, yeah. um, was my literature teacher. And uh, I remember Mr. Nsia, you know, and quite a number of them. And then to University of Ghana, yeah. I remember Professor Martin Owusu, Prof. You know, that man will always have a special place in my heart. Yeah. Prof, thank you for everything. I love you so much. You know, the last time we went on campus, mm. I saw Prof. Prof is like an uncle to me. Okay. You know, he's such a sweet man. And Oni Kwesoa, you know, Oni was my dance lecturer. Ah, you've, you've mentioned him before, Oni. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. I mean, Oni, Oni is Oni, the Oni, Oni, you know, famous <laughs> Oni. Oni, <laughs> I love you so much. I miss you so much. And one... Um, lecturer who was also a very good friend was Godwin Kote of Blessed Memory. Mm. You know, Godwin is no longer there. I mean, it was such a huge blow when we lost Godwin, but it was a beautiful um, time, mm. you know, on campus when Godwin was there. And then my going back to University of Ghana to Lesiad, okay. you know. So, you know, um, <laughs> one of my favorite 
lecturers, you know, uh, when I went to do, when I went to Lesiad, yeah. was for my f first MA, was um, the lawyer for the IGP. Oh, really? Lawyer Kwame Jan. <laughs> so Kwame Jan taught me international law. Oh, and I, he's, wow. he's a very great man, you know, very, yeah, I mean, he's a, a great personality. Mm. You will love him. Mm. That's Kwame Jan. Extremely intelligent, you know. And then um, um, Dr. Vladimir Nchidanso, okay. and then okay. my supervisor at the time, Dr. Yao Gebe, you know, because you hear all these when we talk of um, international relations, yes. security yes. issues, yeah. and all that. And of course, and Ambassador, right there with them yes, Ambassador DK Osei. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he taught okay. me diplomatic practice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you know, I'm back to school again. So yeah. now, my favorite lecturers, you know, from the <laughs> University of Ghana Business School. Good morning, Dr. H. Hamper. Doctor, forgive me. You know, I'm not, I always have to go see him, and I'm always postponing. Sometimes I send messages, hey, Freema. I'm like, Doc, it's not me. You know. So, Doc, good morning. I mean, a great guy. You know, very accommodating, but very, very disciplined and strict. Okay. You know? okay. Dr. Champo. I'm saying all this so that you, go see you do, I, you know, <laughs> see inside, give me small, you know. And also to, uh, I mean, all of them are great personalities. Yeah. Phil Odum, you know, the Ralph, that guy loves perfumes. I thought I loved perfumes. But but somebody yeah. your batch. So I think that my teacher <laughs> yeah, community is yeah, a whole family, a whole, yeah, you know, yeah. and I mean, we owe whatever we are today to all mm. of them. You know, if I could not mention your name, it does not mean that you are not one of my favorites, but I probably might have, you know, missed Skip, it. But yeah, thank you so very people, much right? for the amazing stuff that you do. Oh, Kobe Mensa. You know, mm. Kobe, Kobe, yes. Ako, oh, Kobe yeah, Mensa. Yeah. Yeah, Professor yeah. Kobe Mensa. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's yeah. a prof now. <laughs> Professor Kobe Mensa. You know, Kobe um, teaches me relationship management. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. And, and other you, things. You have, you, know. you, have, you have a whole list of family <laughs> members in the teaching Yes, facility. yes, so much. Yeah. Because my own dad, mm. professionally, is a teacher. Mm. You know, wow. so my father was a teacher before he went to ministry. So I think I naturally cling to teachers. teachers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is very fascinating. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going to open the phone lines and then I'll share some of my experiences with you. Yeah. So 0204 447 033. 0204 447 Give us a call. Let us hear, you know, share with us some of your fond memories of time in school with your teachers. Okay, your favorite mm. teachers, okay? Yeah. Right. But yours. Um, so, like I said, I mean, um, nursery I don't particularly remember yeah. very well. My mom is the one who tells me stories of the <laughs> things that I used to do in the nursery yeah. school. Um, she said I would always wait for the teacher to do the apparatus and, you know, set up the, 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 the Legos and the you know things and yeah. then I'll go I'll run from my seat and I'll go and smash, smash everything yeah. I'll be, like I'm very excited just smashing yeah. and then watching the whole thing collapse uh -huh. you know? can you imagine and then when they are chasing me then I'll jump through the open window no, you're you know? a Ghanaian boy <laughs> <laughs> you're a Ghanaian boy go on so so um but primary school, primary mm -hmm. school. Primary school was it in Ghana? In Ghana, yeah. Okay. So Richard School. I went to Richard okay, School. Okay, okay. Yes. And um, some of my favorite teachers. Um, hmm. We Mrs. Ado. Mrs. Ado definitely one of them. Mm. Um, Mrs. Aban. Okay. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Aban. I mean a mother you know how people are mothers mm -hmm. but when they become grandmothers they become softer yeah and more accommodating, accommodating they are sweet that yeah that was mrs Abam for okay. you i mean my goodness is an excellent personality mm. you know then uh, mr nikwe okay mr nikwe was a disciplinarian mm. but you would love mr nikwe because yeah. his discipline was very fatherly mm. it wasn't like I'm coming to get you for the sake of getting yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You see that thing? It's like I'm waiting for you to make a mistake so I can whip you. Mm, no, no, no. You see, it wasn't I don't like want that. you to uh -huh. make that mistake. Don't make the mistake, yeah. you know. And um, in Richard's school, we used to have this thing. I don't even know if it still exists, but um, we used to have this thing where in class seven, there was heaven, earth, and hell. <laughs> and these were the, the classes that were divided. So, so if you, I think the top 35, uh -huh. I, I don't we're in heaven? Yeah, I think the top 35 or top 40 were in heaven. Uh -huh. and then, then the next 40 were on earth. 
And then they help people. And then they help people were, those who were after. And then I was usually it was about it was about uh, maybe ten, eight or ten people left yeah. who were in hell. Angels of hell. I'm sure you you would always be in heaven. I was mostly on earth. Oh, on earth. Yes. Oh, not then now, yes, sir. No, I'm an ethnic. <laughs> oh, no, you can't do that. Maybe you got to be in heaven, and man. Then, and then twice I went to heaven. Eh. Hey, heaven, heaven the beer. Day. Heaven the day. Literally, <laughs> go to heaven. Ah. Go to heaven. Yeah. Heaven was sweet, man, I'm telling you. No, that is why you knew that. But, this, this world no, is but, not no, our home. No, 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 you know Prophet Hinson? Yes. Eh. Hey. Oh, he taught you? Oh, prof no, Professor and I were moving book back from between earth and heaven. Oh, really? We were moving to heaven, earth and heaven, earth and heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and one right. time I went to hell, temporarily, oh. for one week. And look, it was, it was a weekly thing. It was weekly. So when we, mm. when we, when you, when we do the mental... You know, hold on. Okay. Stay in hell. Okay. All <laughs> no, right? No, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to... No, stay in hell. <laughs> Let's go talk to Kwesi from Poco. I say, hi, Kwesi. <laughs> Oh, Kwesi is gone. Now, come back on Earth. Yes. So, Kwesi, try and call us again, okay? Thank you. Now, um, yeah, so one time I went to hell. Hey, I vowed that day, no matter what will happen, hell. Nah, like, but but why do you, you know, you know, so when I was... But in, it was weekly. Oh. You know, when I was in JHS too, every Friday was like... It's a hindering day. Okay. You know, you know, at that time, that is where um, um, you guys are going. You mm. think you are adult. You know yeah, that JHS, yeah, like that 13 yeah, kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, so yeah. every day here, and uh, but you know, when I grew up, I realized that Charlie Usapa, <laughs> they, can, they can just <laughs> tell you. you are, because I remember those times, every yeah. Friday, people are so frightened. Yeah. We are scared because they yeah. said they, they've heard that uh, and David and Freema yeah. were standing under yeah. the tree yeah. somewhere yeah. Yeah. and you're afraid that the teachers have heard and they are going to call. What were you people doing? And you know, you are so frightened. Paniki, Crazy, welcome back. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Daily. Okay. Yes. What are some of your fond memories of your teachers? Yes, I have a fact teacher really did a very strong role mm. in us. Mm. Without teachers, Crazy, uh, can, can, yeah, can we you can hear, hear you. Without without teachers, in fact, I and you could have been as where we are now. Mm. Yeah. In fact, I want to give. Express my thanks and appreciate all my teachers. Especially, I want to mention one back in my out mm -hmm. in my in my university days. Okay. He's called Doctor Digas Kwanza. Okay. He's my lecturer. Mm. And he was my supervisor. Fantastic. In fact, this man is really disciplined mm. and very helpful and mm. resourceful. Mm. Any time that you go to him, yeah, yeah, we on campus. Or as a uh, resident, yeah, we like to give a hand to you. Wow. And I want to thank him very much for all that he has done for me. And one person to is uh, lawyer Bafu Bonnie, okay, who is also very very helpful. Mm. And another one to is is uh, Doctor John Baby, okay. May God bless them all. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you for right. calling, Chrissy. We appreciate you. Thank you for that call. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, you know, my, every week we would have these exams, right? And it was, it was you know, the mental, mental mm, and spelling. Mm, yeah. Mm. Mental and dictation. That's what we called it, right? So, um, after the ex, as soon as it ends, all scripts are marked and then Arrange yourself according to, <laughs> according <laughs> according to from, your, your class, <laughs> according by. I'm telling you, hey, look, and then, so you, it's like you had to force to to do well. Yeah, you yeah. know. But I was very, I was very playful. Mm. You know, I've always, I think, had that youthful, playful streak. Mm. You know, where. It's like, yeah, it's a serious thing, but try to take it easy. Yeah. I mean, you know, take, you know. So that's how I've always been. That's, how, that's primary school. Then going to secondary, I left, you know, the shores mm. of Ghana. I went to Malawi, and then we went to a, an, in, an inter, international school. And so a lot of my teachers were were white people. Okay. You know, mostly from England. Okay. So one of my favorite teachers, um, math, 
was Mr. Hackney, Ian Hackney. Um, and then in biology, Mr. Kibble, mm -hmm. Toby Kibble. Um, and then um, Simon Studd. Oh man, that man made me understand organic chemistry. Okay. You know? And you realize that there are some courses, if you don't meet the right person, forget it. You won't understand. So don't understand. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, Christian. Hello. Hi, welcome to Breakfast Daily. Thank you. I'm Christian from Winnibang. Yes, Christian. So share with us your fond memories of some of your teachers. Uh, so I think um, I actually schooled in Kintampo. Okay. So for the basics. Uh, St. Joseph's RC, uh, Nesri, then. Wow. And we are some of the very best teachers. Mm. Uh, Madame Messie, Boa, Rebecca, Grace. Mm. These were wonderful teachers, and they were actually mothers. Like, yeah. through the people we had, in, we, we had to share some of the memories we shared with them. It was so beautiful. Mm. Uh, at the primary level, so many wonderful names. Mr. Francis, I want to name. And then I had Jesus, uh, Mr. Emmanuel Vinkumwini. We had one senior, Mr. Tre, powerful. And at the high school level, for the Francis, not something high school. And uh, all the beautiful teachers there mm. at the university, Dr. Um, Bryman, Dr. Fekri, wonderful, wonderful teachers. And then currently at the M2 level, too, wonderful staff, uh, Dr. Bryman again. And uh, yes, just to mention that a few, but these are people who have actually impacted our lives in very positive ways. Yeah. They inspire you daily, their stories or motivated to want to do more. Yeah. And we're still grateful for the things we taught us in life. Mm. Yeah. It keeps us going. And then uh, a very special one to Madame Grace Ongu uh, formerly of the Sunday in Kintampo, mm -hmm. later moved to um, LA, currently retired. And uh, she's the wife of the, I think the boss partner in Kintampo town. Such a wonderful woman. And I owe her so much. I hope someday I'm able to pay him. Wow, wow. Thank you, thank you very much for that. <sighs> Yeah. yeah. You know, also I have a certain Dr. Braima. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, from okay. Um, UGBS. Mm. Hello, Doc. Good morning. Maybe and thank you. Same, maybe it's the same person oh, that he's referring to because he talked about the uh, first degree level and the MPhil level. Yeah, but he didn't mention the school. He didn't mention the school. Yeah, well, yeah. but. Hi, Dr. Braima, whether it's you or not, <laughs> well, mine is you. <laughs> but you, you know when yeah. um, you are young, okay, mm. like around senior high mm. school, and you have a certain um, teacher who is very strict, yeah. you know, and you all kind of fabricate all manner of stories hey. around it. Um, we had our senior house mistress, Miss Broby. I'm thinking about my head right now. Miss <laughs> Bobby, look, we, we, we concocted all kinds of stories. Yeah. So people will go like, oh, you know, when Miss Bobby is there and Miss Bobby, the soles of her feet are itching, then it means somebody has run away, a student has <laughs> run away. So then she will call, roll, she'll do a roll yeah, call. Yeah. And by all means, somebody will mm, not be in yeah, school. Yeah. We said that when Miss Bobby is walking, she doesn't turn back, <laughs> but she can see everything <laughs> happening behind. Like, oh, mother of stories, you know. So you grow up and realize that, no, this is a woman who yeah. was instilling discipline yes, in yes, you guys. Yes. You yes, know, yes, yes, and, yes. and look, that woman. I'll I mean, tell you about one of my teachers in school. Let's, let's mm. talk to. We have a caller from Dasuba. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Your name, please. I'm Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Uh, welcome to Breakfast Daily. Thank you. Share with us your phone memories. Uh, yes. So I, I, I want to give a big shout out to all teachers. I want to love them more. Um, I remember and want to be grateful for um, four of my teachers. I think the JSS level, JSS level. Okay. Back there in Masters of Uganda, Mankobi. Mm. Uh, and I remember Miss Howard. I think she has been one big woman who has made me a big book for only my wife now. Okay. And then she taught me Christmas stores and then I've learned cooking from her since wow. that day. Wow. Really impacted me. And then Mr. Yeboah, my technical um, uh, uh, teacher, mm. he, he has made me the engineer I am now. Wow. Okay. Because I still wow. remember some days and joints he taught me those days. And then Mr. Senanu, he, he was one disciplinary, like, um, but very friendly. Mm. I remember he was a victim of the May 9th uh, as a folk uh, stuff. And then... Yeah. 
We called him to ask him how he was doing the next day. And then when he resumed back to school, he bought us chocolate. Wow. wow. And then we were, we were all happy. They're like, he has appreciated the way we mm. act of him. Yeah. And then there was one teacher we all didn't really like, but she was good, Miss Vane. Mm. Like, her uh, eyes are like 60. She can see from every angle. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Bobby. <laughs> and then she, she will see everything you do. And then when everybody hears Miss Green is coming, yeah. Charlie, you run like a boat. You want to hide. You want to hide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and there is one teacher, may I still rest with you, Mr. Otu. Okay. Those days, mental, we call it a book mm. <laughs> Agbokemba. So. When you hear six o'clock in the morning, you get to school and you hear pa 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 pa, and then you hear I go camba. Yeah. So you know you have to be ready for Mr. Otu. Yeah. And <laughs> you really have to be ready for him because yeah. he doesn't wait for a second for you to answer the question. The cane is on you. Wow. Yeah. So wow. I, I I really want to thank these people for impacting my life. They have made me who I am. Mm -hmm. I really thank them a lot. Thank you for the call. Thank you very much for the call. You know, there are all these, there are these teachers who, as we're talking about, who are very, very st strong in discipline. Yeah. You know, but when you think back, you love them. You love them because without them, you would have turned out differently. You know, but every child hates the cane. Every mm. child mm. hates um, discipline. Like mm. when you're being firm on them, they misinterpret it to mean yeah. they don't love us. Why are they treating us like this? Yeah. Until you become an adult. Yeah. Then you appreciate all that. And that is how come um, people grow up and they mm. hate their parents. They mm. hate they hate their caregivers mm. because if you feel you are sparing yeah. the road, you know, and just so because you want your child uh, not to cry, you yeah. don't want them to be in pain, you don't, yeah. and so you don't correct them. Yeah. They will blame you mm. one day mm. okay, when they become mm. adult because the yeah. Bible says that train up a child the way the he should way go. Should when go. he grows, yeah. so they will not understand it while well, they are young. young. Yeah. It is for when they it's grow. Not, don't try to get them to understand. Exa they won't. Just do what so you do it do. because when they grow, they mm. won't depart from it. Mm. So if you don't do it and they grow, mm. then they see the disservice that yeah, you've done them. You've done them yeah. yeah. And that is why today we love Miss Bobby so yeah, much. You yeah. know. In our heads we thought Miss Bobby was a witch. <laughs> well, it wasn't too far away from what we thought about uh, Mrs. Mullen. Mrs. Mullen, it was like everybody was afraid of her. Yeah. But look, the day we heard she was leaving the school, eh, look, like half the school was in tears. Yes. It was very strange. Yeah. Because we like, it's like somebody who loved us, like her own children yeah. was leaving. Yeah. You know, you know when Miss Bobby is I'm walking, sorry. her cane leads her. <laughs> the cane moves before the leg moves. <laughs> you won't dare. Hi, Coffee. Welcome to Breakfast Daily. Hello. Right. Yes. Good morning. So tell us your story. Your favorite uh, teachers. My favorite teachers. At, at Kufa, I remember uh, teacher Petra was very kind to me. Mm. And Safu, Tia Bwampon, Safu early primary school, Tia Bwampon. At Sarah School, at Collins, uh, I can't forget Mr. Bidiaku from Pong, who was a senior house master. And because he was good, anyway, he had to use the word script. We call him Kujata. Any time was kind, he was coming with. We were, we were running away, mm. and he was the same time the senior house master. Yeah, yeah. Mr. James Terrier, too, we must not forget him mm. because he was our friend teacher. And you know, you know this people that never had friends. Monsieur. So, um, <laughs> mon ami, mon monsieur, ami, monsieur is coming. Monsieur is coming. Je m'appelle. He just has helped me a lot. Yeah. All yeah. right. Thank you so right, much. Thank you very thank much. You so much for the call. Yeah. Thank you. You know, in St. Monica's, we used to call, so JHS, our French master was Monsieur, mm. but in St. Monica's, it was Alonzi. Okay. Because, you know, his Alonzi means let's go. Okay. So he's uh, all, he always has the key and uh, the K that is like, so uh, Alonzi, uh, Alonzi, <laughs> so he was called Alonzi. Anyway, we also have some messages, you know, coming through and says, um, Frema and Kweku, please celebrate these amazing teachers for me. There are lots of them, but I can't mention all their names. Auntie Tawa, 
um, Auntie Esther, all in Nigeria. Madam Dela Kwashi said, Jeffrey, Monsieur ACN, that's uh, Aguna Kwenyako Senior High School, Desmond Lamte of GIJ, the smooth operator. And you know, every school has this kind of teacher who yes. is the people's, you know, the people's, the, the people's, the people's man. man. <laughs> he understands the students, the students understand him. So, Monica, it was um, a mass teacher, Stivo. Okay. okay. As a Stivo was yeah. some fine man, yeah. you know, some galleys. And usually they are younger. Yeah, yeah you know, you no. Know, you have to take certain boxes, yeah, certain boxes to, to, be, to be, be in, in that, that position. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, fine boy, Kakra, yeah. you know, jovial Kakra, uh, disciplined Kakra. Okay. You know, I mean, yeah, that was Tivo for you. All right. Mm. And then many others that I could have mentioned. So, Mommy says, I love you all. So, mm. thank you very much to our teachers. All right. This one says here, my favorite teacher was Mr. David Hammond, a.k.a. Shutolu of Bishop Mixed GHS, <laughs> GSS. Um, this teacher made every student get over f the phobia of math. Wow, I love teachers like that. Mm. Um, he's still alive and we all speak well of him with our chest out anytime we meet each other. This is coming from Lawyer Lane. Mm. Wow. Mm. All right, so we have a caller from Tema. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. morning. Your name, please. Michael Kofi Kwashi, I'm speaking from Tema. Michael, welcome to Breakfast Daily. Yes. Yeah, share okay. with us your favorite, uh, your thoughts about your favorite uh, oh. teachers. First of all, may God bless all teachers. Mm. Those who are faithful, may the Lord be with them and give them their hard desire. Mm. You know, Form 1 and Form 4. Form 1, we call it uh, Miss Agatha Simon. Okay. She's alive. 80 plus. Hmm. She's alive. Miss Agatha Simon. Do you know something? I'm an average boy. So in the morning, before she starts classes, she will do mental indication. Mm. Mental indication. Yeah. When you get one wrong, one king. I'm afraid <laughs> of a king. So that teacher, Miss Agatha Simon, encouraged me to learn. Wow. Ah. Then from four, Mr. Bryce Piawi, he's now at Sugakope. Okay. No, I started with that summer and I completed at that Friday. Okay. Mr. Bright Fire is perform for. Oh, very good teacher. Mm. Wow, discipline. He can discipline you. Mm. So, ah, I just want to say, may the Lord be with them. God bless them. When you are doing any work, especially just three, do it from your heart. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Uh, TV, thank you for your program. Okay, I love all your programs. <laughs> thank and you. I love it. Thank you are fantastic. Pick it up. Thank you. Thank you for calling Pick us as well. So, share. teachers, keep on. Mm. No matter the situation, they are saying your blessings in heaven. No problem. You do it, whether you have blessing <laughs> or not. Whatever you are doing. Yeah. So this is the truth. Yeah, there's a lot, but this is the truth. Yeah. Okay. I just want to thank say. you. Thank yeah. you so much. Ah, may the Lord us bless us. Thank you. You know, he's really you can see touched very emotional and about yes, it, yes, about, about it. Yeah. it. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, now to my university days. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know, I started from Legon. Legon, yes. And I went to. Legon, I think one person stands out okay. for me. Dr. John Pickby. Okay. Yeah. Um, zoology. Um, it was just different. Mm hmm. You know, um, is this whole? There were different. There were different experiences that I had. But yeah. you know, like on, because you have such huge classes, yeah, right. Um, you don't really get a chance to bond with any particular yeah. person per mm -hmm. se, you know. But as time one would time. have it, um, one time I was heading back to the my 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 hall mm -hmm. at the Punglo. But I went through Legon. Mm. Then I discovered that uh, John Pickby's residence was just next to Legon Hall, mm -hmm. right? So I was fascinated. That, oh, he, this is where he lived, yeah. you know? So that became my route, mm -hmm. you know? For some reason, he just became my route. So I was like, I'll see him and say yeah. hi to him, you know? But then he also noticed me, mm -hmm. you know? So then he would make a point of it when he would come to class and say, yeah, man, how are you? Yeah. Then he found out my name, you know? Then he would actually mention me in class. Oh, David, how are you doing? You know, but I think that looking at the largest of the way the classes were, you know, first year, look, first year, what, 400, 500 yeah, people in yeah. the class and so on. But then he would single me out 
and say hello to me. And then mm. in the pathway going home, going back to my hostel, mm. the, the hall and everything else, he would also say hello. Yeah. But in tech mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. the classes were much smaller. Yeah. Okay. And by a chem, mm -hmm. I have to say, some of the teachers that I didn't like yeah. became some of my favorite teachers at the end of the day. Yeah. F. O. Mensa was one of them. Mm. F. O. Mensa was one of them. I, I also have a lecture. Somebody like that. that. Yes, yeah. yes. But one of my favorite all-time lecturers in tech was Dr. Antonia Tete. Okay. Yeah. Amazing woman. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Right, so um, we have another person joining us via phone. Hello. Madam, good morning. How good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. And um, thank you so much for giving us this great opportunity. Sure. And first of all, let us appreciate and then thank God for mm -hmm. our teachers, you know, um, irrespective of the level that we all got to. So they've all helped us out. Yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. yeah. Um, my experience has to do with an MGS, a carbon Methodist. I know it's located around the other side. Yeah. Okay. And um, this man, before this man will shoot you, in fact, if, if, if you are sentenced to 10 things, for a day, mm. you could feel free in front of this man. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, even reduce the sentence, so he will wait and then relax for you to finish whatever you want to do in terms of you school then. And so came the ten. Mr. Mensah, like then he will not be, he not be some romantic picture at all. <laughs> but, but all the same, he was, he was, he was very strict. Mm. You know, he, he gave us a lot of training. You know, a lot of us have actually taken um, great lessons from him. And even as of now, we go to programs and then he comes around. Mm. You know, so these are people that actually you, you you always want to, you know, get closer to them and still learn a lot from them. Yeah. yeah. We've, we've had a lot of experience from them, great mm. experience and I'm hoping these teachers will one day, you know, um I don't know how to say it, but if if it's possible, let them also at least get their own school. So that they can train a lot of people. Because mm. we need them. We need them in the society. Yeah. They've done a lot for us. So thank you to all teachers around. We appreciate your work, and um, we are hoping we will not meet you again. You know, in terms of your even between us, we've learned a lot from you. Don't mm -hmm. come and then us again. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank right. you. Thank you. All right. right, thank okay. you so much. Yeah. You know, you're talking about you had a teacher that mm. um, you didn't like, but later, yeah, but, later, you know, when I was in Legone, so we at that time. Um, Dr. Awe Siedu, mm. okay, was our lecturer. Okay. And, I mean, today I understand everything she was doing. Mm. But back then, we found her strict. She, she won't talk to students. <laughs> like, <laughs> some way, you know, the kind of behavior that you mm. can't really yeah. put a word yeah. to, but yeah. you know she's some way, mm. all right? But today, I mean, today, She's a professor, yeah. and Prof is the director of the School of Performing Arts. Okay, and now she's like she's a mother. We even say like mm, you know mm. she's a mother. You know, and now <laughs> so sometimes when you are chatting with her, she'll say like, eh, I don't know your people. You know, and I think Prof is she's such a <laughs> sweet person. Now I understand who she yeah, truly is. You know, yeah. I said that about the crowd when yeah. and all that. I said, eh, me then go for a Miss Romo kind of back then. You know, yeah. so she was still called and said, hey, but they say me, I was somewhere. I said your people. I said no, Prof is because we didn't understand yeah. you. Yeah. But now we, I can, I understand her passion. Yeah. I understand all the great stuff that she's mm. doing for the School of Performing Arts and the way she wants to change yeah. the course of the yeah. school. Yeah. I also have Dr. Sarah Dogbaji. Okay. You know, okay. and um, Doc also came in to teach us when I was on campus. Mm. And that she wasn't a doctor then, but now she is a doctor. She's yeah. doing amazing. You know, Lodudu. Yeah, yes. yeah, so yes. that's Dr. Sarah okay. Dogbaji. Okay. And you also have Ekua. You know, Ekua taught me, and Ekua is the one that, you know, you, I mean, you just forget yourself and you are just speaking any English. Yeah. And uh, Ekua <laughs> is the type who has a pen and yeah. paper in her she head. So you are just <laughs> chatting and say that, oh, so when we we're going, then yeah. you say, going. Going. So then you can't, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, going. Yeah, so you just say, when we we're going, going, then she will pause. Yeah. I say, going. Yeah. I say, oh my God, this woman, you know. But, but we love them so much. These women have been. Yeah amazing yeah, you know yeah. and there are some who probably did not teach us but well not in classroom but they also did you know 
from performing arts, mm. your teachers probably will not be only in the classroom, yes. on stage, yes. in the drama yeah. studio. Yeah. And one person who I really took inspiration from was the Honorable um, MP for Ketu South, um, okay. Abla uh, uh, Jifa Gomashi. Gomashi. Okay. Yes, okay. she was my first um, stage ma production manager. Okay. You will not be late to her productions. Wow. You know, yes, yes. Wow. And I remember myself and Vera were the first level 100 students to be on stage, yeah. you know, and um, Honorable <laughs> was the production uh, manager. And look, you will be disciplined. Yeah, and I think yeah, yeah. everything has come together <laughs> to shape us. And she's also very much active in my life today. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and yeah, I remember I those days and all. But all in all, mm -hmm. my favorite, favorite teacher will be my dad because he is the first teacher I came to contact with. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was very little, my father would carry me shoulder high, will take me to school. And he expects from your ribbons <laughs> to your uniform to your socks to your shoes should be, should be the same as you left, as as you you left home. <laughs> you won't dare have any stains on your... Look, my father has a certain cane. That yeah. was, the, the left was yeah. like this. The way he will lash you, you'll be wow. steady. So I think wow. everything that I've become today yeah. started from home. from home. And he's been a great yeah. teacher to many people. Yeah. And then he took his teaching to... Yeah church yeah. as well wow. to become it, reverend. It, interestingly, my father wasn't a professional teacher. Okay. Rather, it's my mother. Ah. My mother's a professional teacher. She taught okay. in Ebree Girls. Oh, wow. Yeah, she taught for okay. years in Ebree Girls. Yeah. You know. yeah. um, but my father wasn't a professional teacher, but he taught people in life and he yeah. mentored a lot of yeah. people in life. Yeah. At his funeral, you saw the, Eggs, the people that yeah. came. It was just incredible. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. learned something. You know, but yeah. So you don't have to be a professional teacher of course, to, to be teach a teacher and to impact, impact knowledge, knowledge yeah. to people. Yeah. Yeah. And I say a very big thank you at this point to Prof. William Otu Ellis biochemistry department back in the day. And also, I mentioned earlier, Prof. Antonia Yanni Tete. God bless you all for impacting my life.